This is Dave from Cheapbooks.com. I am playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the French AMX M445, and the map is Ensk. This is a Tier 7 medium tank. It's got an 8 second reload time. And I like playing over here in these buildings because it's easier to flank the uh, enemy, and there's not that many vehicles that it becomes mass confusion. And of course there's a lot of easy targets. I definitely don't want to get hit over here. So I gotta keep on moving. Wish I had a fast reload time. Ready to fire. You don't want him to be able to do that. So you gotta reposition. Target unlocked. Target acquired. We didn't penetrate your armor. So I'm gonna stay behind this stuff over here. Watch out for that artillery. Even everyone's apparently going to shoot at me. Okay, now... I died early, but hopefully the spotting damage that I did... Um, there were a lot of tanks that I spotted. Let's, oh, I wish I could see their damage. What happens is when those tanks were shooting at me, I was the most forward advanced on my team. And when those tanks were shooting at me, I was spotting them, even though they were, uh, you know, they're shooting at me, their gun goes off, produces smoke, I'm closest to them, so I spot their tank. And even if I don't shoot back, my allies were shooting at them, and the damage that they cause, I get some credit for. So I got some credit for a couple of tanks, um, I just, I don't know if I destroyed anything, but, uh, whoever did, I got the credit for those for that destruction in terms of uh, spotting damage. Uh, it's called damage caused with your assistance. So this tank is actually going to show up in probably the top half for my team. The way the game works is that there is a limited number of hit points. If you total up the hit points for every tank in the game, there's a maximum number. This particular tank has 1,200 hit points. So let's imagine that every tank has a, an average of 1,000 hit points, and there's 15 tanks. That means the enemy team has 15,000 hit points. As you hit those tanks, you're getting your share of that, and they might not all be used up during the game. So if you get, of the 15,000, let's say you get uh, 7,500 hit points you do in damage to another tank, you would get half of the damage for the entire enemy team. So, the point that I'm making is, once you get to a certain point, let's say it's a thousand damage, you're going to rank in the top two or three people on your team, because it's unlikely that one player is going to go and collect all that damage, and even if he did, it would prevent your other teammates from getting that damage. There's a limited supply of hit points out there and, in, in essence, penetrations. So there's a limited supply of EXP. And once you get your share, you got your share and nobody can take it away from you. Um, so you want to get your share, which is, let's say, a, a tank for a tank. You want to destroy at least one tank and you're doing average for your team. If you can get the penetrations in to kill one tank, there's no reason why you shouldn't show up approximately halfway on the experience for your team. If you get more than that, then you should be in the top half. So strive to get at least one tank, and you should be at least halfway on the EXP earned for your team. And it's not one kill, you want the equivalent damage, like this tank has 660 
uh, hit points, maybe you need to hit him four times in order to kill him, so you want to get at least four penetrations. And that would put you about halfway. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't see that M4 coming up the side. And that M4 could really nail him. Oh, well, the M4 can't nail him when he's dead. Oh, he's going up against the Tiger 1. Tiger 1's a difficult tank. He should go up against that KV-2 instead. Unfortunately, the Tiger 1 and the KV-2 probably know where he's going. So that was a smart move. So it's two on three. Let's see, is that the Tiger? Yeah, it's a Tiger. The KV-2 appears to be running away, the, the, unless he took a, a run for the south and is hiding somewhere in the south, and, and we missed it. Uh, the T-25 could easily destroy a Tiger. There's the KV-2. He shouldn't be parked there. He should move forward. Where he was parked, both of the enemy tanks could shoot at him. Uh, so that's not good. He should have moved to another position where only one enemy tank would be able to have a shot on him. He's got a really strong gun. Unfortunately, his gun was damaged, so his reload time was probably affected. This KV-2 probably isn't going to destroy both of those tanks. However, I don't know which gun he has. There's a chance he's got that big gun, and if he's got that big gun, he can do a lot of damage. He can also explode real fast. Okay, so let's see how I did. I'm predicting I'm going to be about halfway for my team. Uh, being a team loss means, of course, we won't get as many hit points. I spotted a lot of tanks. So I was about halfway for the team. And, and of course, that's based on the number of penetrations. I oh, I only had three penetrations. I thought I had four. Okay, so I am going to get into another game. Because this game is so much fun. It is my life. Okay, Redshire. Hopefully we'll have a better game. It's an encounter battle. With this type of a tank, you don't want to be out in the open because you have a slow reload time. And you're pretty much a large target. So I'm going to head for those houses over there. I'm going to head down the middle. And it's going to be where those houses are. I like to be in the, mo the most difficult area. I don't go and hide in the back and things like that. Time to roll out. So being in the center is somewhat of a difficult area. You'll have a lot of people shooting at you, but you also have a lot of targets to shoot at. And the key is you have to know how to move your tank. You have to know how to uh, how to move it into a position where you can hide. There's not a lot of houses over here, but I'm going to do the best I can. <clears throat> Let's see how things are up here. There's that big house over here. And I'm going to try and use it as defense. But I'm also going to be spotted very easily. Well, those tanks are too far away. That's going to be very difficult, but not... Oh, he moved. Oh, this is difficult. Don't shoot me. Shoot the IS-6. This 
isn't such a bad spot. Tank right next to me, I gotta be worried about. He's going away. They killed our driver. We're covering his position, but not very well. There's no enemy artillery. Can't hit those tanks. So I hit him hard. This vehicle has had it. Well, I got a couple penetrations in. Um, not enough to be top ranked for the team. I'm not going to sit and wait and watch this game. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments.